Okay, it turns out that the antenna that they're going to use, or, or the ones that we're going to use and put up on that tower, is the one that's already here, the existing antenna. Right there. So this will be disconnected and then hauled up that tower. Now this is Lynn, right? Yes, sir. Okay, now this is Lynn, and he's the man that does our tower climbing, is that correct? That's correct. Now Lynn's the one that's going to take this antenna back here at the corner of this uh, fence that I just showed you, and he's the one that's going to haul that baby up there. Now, how long have you been tower climbing? Ah, a few years. It doesn't bother you to go way up that high? I mean, you don't get After dizzy? After you get about 30 feet, it don't matter anymore. <laughs> Okay. Just hang on. Just hang on. All right. Well, thanks, Lynn. I'll be filming you going up, by the way. Okay. <laughs> Appreciate it. Now, just down the road uh, from uh, where I was standing, you'll see here comes a gentleman with a weed eater. They're doing a little cleaning. Just down the road here is another building that we have, the club, and they also have a, a shorter tower next to it. You can see right here. And... Uh, there's supposed to be, uh, and there's another repeater here, a two meter repeater. And uh, the other day, uh, the club president came up with his lawnmower and he, he mowed around here and cleaned it up and everything. And I guess he's going to go inside the fence and uh, do a little weeding there. Kind of clean it, keep it in good order. Now this kind of reminds me of my military days. See, we get all these people, <laughs> they all stand it's around and we all talk it's about what's going on here and, and everybody just kind of... It's, kind of, it's kind of like a county road crew. Yeah, man. right. We just kind of all look around. We have yet to get that, uh, that antenna even unhooked over here. <laughs> and the climber is sitting here waiting. Yeah, and the climber, he's, he's waiting to go. ready to go up. Man, this boy's fired up. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting some incentive. <laughs> Well, this is Pat, and we obviously cannot put up an antenna <clears throat> without having uh, <clears throat> without having one of these. This is very important. What is this, Pat? <laughs> Man must have shade. <laughs> Yo, he wants some shade. Oh, you're one of the wood types, right? <laughs> All right, we'll just see what that turns out to be when he gets done. <laughs> All right, we're making some headway. Now, according to Pat, this is going to be a pop-up gazebo. <laughs> So we're going to be kind of to keep the sun off his widow head. <laughs> okay, further progress has been made and they're now extending the legs on this thing. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> this is pretty slick. I don't know who invented this, but... Yeah, you got to be smarter than the pole, Roger. Alright, alright. <laughs> I think you can go awesome. How about that? That's pretty slick. Downtown. <laughs> okay, this thing even comes with this uh, little carrying case here and a stake kit. <clears throat> now the stakes would go in the hole down here in the foot pad there and uh, just uh, drive it into the ground in case we get any wind, right? Yes, sir. Well, you did good, Pat. We're proud of you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. <laughs> well, this is David, and he's stripping off the, the outside layer of the cable. Is that correct? He's cutting the prepping it. You're, you're, you're prepping it for a connect. I'm not sure what that was. That thing you just had was it's a you cut you just cut through the outside insulation. Yeah, okay, a prep tool. <laughs> that explains it all. Let me see here. You got a yeah. Okay, that tool he was using previously was uh, was was a cut through the copper using this, uh, didn't bring this blade right, right here. That's what I should have brought. The copper outer coating. I forget things. On a normal coax cable, it would be braid, but here it's solid. Uh, it's a copper tube, is what it is. Now he's stripping off the uh, the center <laughs> dielectric. Now that center conductor is a copper clad al aluminum. I'll bring copper clad David, aluminum. David, that we have. It. All right, he's fixing on the connector right now. He sat down, got out of his chair. It's been kind of a, kind of a process here. I guess you've done this what once or twice before. Times ten. Times ten. Okay. For the second power. <laughs> <laughs> Several times. All right, he's getting that connector put on there. Okay, now this is Lynn in his climbing gear. Now this is a safety harness right here, right? And you will have another belt you said wrapped around you yes, also. Sir. And that's what I strap you're, you're, on the tower with. That's what you strap on the tower with. This is just strictly for safety, a little bungee cord to uh -huh. break my fall. Okay. If so, you 
Uh, don't have something to break your fall, you can break your back. So at, at two, so you're going to have two things that will connect you to the tower. One will connect you at all times. If yes, one sir. is loose, the other one is connected, yes. right? That's very good. Well, that's that's quite a setup here. Turn around, you that's a, that's a that's a that's a very expensive setup. Do you own this or is this no, a that's, club? Okay. That's uh, borrowed. Borrowed. Well, I'll tell you what. And this is where you carry your tools in the tool pouch. Yes. And you're still fired up and ready to go. Now, what is this right here? Here, I notice there's another uh, plant here. No, that's here. just another backup. Just when I'm going around stuff. I just... Okay, so you use all three of these things, won't you? You okay. can. Supposed to. <laughs> well, that's good. All right. We don't want to take any chances. No, we we, we do not want to take chances. I don't want to be I, back down here. I don't want you falling in my truck. Okay. All right. Well, that'd be a softer. <laughs> <issue. laughs> when Lynn goes up the tower, he'll be uh, carrying this a uh, rope up, and then he'll haul up this bar. This bar will be attached to the tower, and then the antenna that they're going to install will be attached to the bar. Probably connected to this little deal right here. This is how it connects onto the antenna. He's holding the antenna in his hand, and that's the cable that comes out of that, that bar right there. And it just screws right into there. Okay. And this is the antenna we'll be putting up. All right, this is the way it sits on that uh, mount. on that mount. It's not any Western German. They screw it on there. Or on the side. This is the antenna right here. And Lynn will be hauling this entire mechanism up by a rope once he gets to the top. Okay. While well, Lynn gets geared up and gets ready to, to climb the tower, over here, these, this is the hard working bus. These are the thinkers. They, these are the guys that have planned it all out and now they're just waiting for the fruits of their labor, right? <laughs> That's right. These are the planners, the thinkers, the movers, and the shakers. Now we just let the peons carry it out. Isn't that right, Roger? That's right. That's right. <laughs> I got another question about this uh, repeater site. Does this thing put out a Morse code signal? Has an identifier. Okay, how often does it do that? Every ten minutes. And why does it do that? I don't understand. Why? Why, why is it? Why is it? Yes, it's the federal law. You have to identify every, every ten minutes. The repeater has to put out a Morse code signal every ten minutes to identify itself. Well, and, and it, it only does that when somebody's using it. And, and, and who is it sending this code signal? I mean, who's receiving this uh, code in the government, uh, this Morse code signal? FCC inspector, if he comes to town. Okay. Wonders oh. whose repeater it is. Oh, I see. Okay. And then he just go to his list and see who W5AUU is. And that's the Morse code signal being sent out, W5AUU. Yes. Well, how about that? Thank you, Glenn. Well, there he goes. He's on his way to the top. Slow, methodical, and he's got a rope hanging from his belt that he will haul up that antenna on that mount. We'll take a look at him when he gets up a little higher. I don't know exactly how high he's going to go. Well, there he is. Lynn is still on his way up. We need to get this. Uh, we're going to be getting this uh, antenna. Oh, right up about above his head, probably another uh, 15 feet there. He's slowly at it, slowly doing it. Well, there he is, almost at the top, just a couple of feet away. He'll be hauling up the uh, antenna on the mount very shortly. Now, this is George. George is the hardest working sucker in this club. You're the vice president, isn't that right? Right, George? Everybody tells me that you are just a go-getter. Is that right? <laughs> Just got say, through going and getting it. That, <laughs> say hi to everybody, George. Hi, everybody. All right. You are the vice president, right? That is uh, That's right. He's the man with the power. What you doing in here? Putting the ground back on up there. Oh, okay. The green wire oh, ground. Oh, you changed yeah. your mind, huh? Yeah, over there. He's going to reconnect that ground. I knew he was the, yeah, he was the worker. 